Hello lovely peoples, today we're going to be making this. I found it on Pinterest that has a link to an Etsy and it was $41. We're going to make it for as cheap as possible. <laughs> for this project, you're going to need some wood cutoffs uh, that includes a 2x4 of some length and some triangles. So the first step is pretty obvious. You're going to want to sand down all of your triangles because the stain we're using is really thin so it, you'll be able to see all the imperfections. Moving right along here, you're going to need a container to hold all the liquid in, a red wine, a glove or some sort of paint spreader, and stain. So this is the red wine I'm using. Um, I'm pretty sure every adult has a red wine in their house that they don't like, and this is one of them. We bought it from Walmart for like $5, and it is disgusting. So that is what we will be using. Next, you're going to take each one of your triangle cutoffs, and you're going to dip it in. Uh, I hold them in for 30 seconds each just to make sure the color is fully saturated, and then you're going to take that out. Turn it around and put it back in for another 30 seconds. Once all three of your triangles are done, you can set them out to dry and then we get on to the next step. Now, this is not a normal method for staining. I'm actually using a stain in polyurethane in Espresso Satin. So I like using a glove best because I think it gives you the most control to where you can make highlights where you want highlights and dark spots where you want dark spots. Whereas I've learned that with this specific stain, if you use just a paintbrush, then it kind of just makes the whole thing black. So I do it this way. You don't have to, but I'll stop rambling about it. Once that's done, you're going to want to choose the side that you like the look of best. The uglier side is going to be where you glue your mountains and the prettier side will be where the hooks go. You should also choose which side you would like to be on the wall and which one you want facing outwards. Now we're going to dry fit everything before we add any glue, just to make sure everything is nice and pretty and you don't need to cut anything off, which in this case I do. Once you know that that all fits correctly, you're going to mark off on the pretty side where you want all of your hooks. Now we're going to add snow to our mountains. I have this dollar store brush I bought, and I like that because I like the kind of roughness that it adds into the paint itself. So you dip it in your, your white paint, and you just flutter it on. Oh, I know. It's excessive. And then you have a mountain. Now we grab our trusty dusty wood glue, and we're going to glue the bottom of each of these triangles This part's really frustrating if you miss, so make sure you choose the right side of the triangle that you want to be showing. Once you have that in place, you want to clamp it down together. If you don't have a clamp, then that's fine, you can just set it on it. I do have to say though, while clamping, hugging it is 100% necessary, as well as the dog staring you down. Once everything is glued and clamped into place, you let it dry. This is the hardest part for me. Alright, I didn't record this part because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once everything is dried up, you can just put in your hardware. Um, I got these hooks that come in a pack of, I think, like 100 or 50 or something like that, and they're, they're pretty cheap. And then these, I can't help you to get because they were a free sample from Ikea to keep your furniture hooked to the wall so you don't kill your kids. So, I can't tell you where to get those. But you can use just about any hardware to keep it to the wall. That's just what I have. So, once again, going right back to it, this is theirs for about $40, and this is how our version turned out. I think it turned out pretty good, but, you know, you could be the judge.